शांति ध्यानंजन शलाकया चक्षुन्मित तस्म वंचा कल्पतरुभ कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमो महापतनाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नमने गौर से गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाये तदाल कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो भक्तिया परादल चेस्ता कामादितरंग मध्य कृपा मयि तम शरण प्रपन्ना वृंदे नुमस्ते चरण भाई हम बोल रहे लोटस फिलिप माई स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर नित्य लीला प्रविष्ट ओम विष्णु पास भक्ति प्रज्ञान के शिक्षा गुरु नित्य लीला प्रविष्ट ओम विष्णु पास श्रीमद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज दैट यू कॉल हिम प्रभु पास वॉट यू आर सेंग एंड बी आर सेंग इन होल वर्ल्ड नाउ एवरीवेयर रथ जाता All is due to Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. He is the cause of all. But he was so much merciful that he came in these Western countries and Eastern countries by the mercy of his Guru Dev, Nitya Lila Prasthan Mushnu Bas Mushnu Bhakti Siddhan Prasthan. He was in the line of the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was in the line of the Rupa Raghunath Prabhu. He was bhakti vino thakur. He was Prabhu Pad Bhakti Siddham. He had not established any new thing. Same thing he had. Coming from Brahma Nara, and thus coming up to now. So we should know that we are all. family of chaitanya mahaprabhu anyone chanting name of radha and krishna hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama whether he is initiated or not initiated no harm if he accepting chaitanya mahaprabhu nityananda prabhu and in their line oh he chanting hare krishna That we should think that he is in our family. Our family is so big, so big. So we should try to honor all. He is not in my line. Not this. We should try to honor. So today is a very sacred day. Today is the appearance day of Jagannath. There are so many stories about this in Vedas, Upanishads, in also Sri Mad Bhagavatam here and there, especially in Purans. Purushottam Mahatma or so many. Kothkal Khanda, it has been. So I told you the process of bhakti. What is bhakti? Yesterday in my class, so you have to try to remember all these things. Now a special day. That is why I am telling the story of Baladev and Jagannath Baladev and Shivat, and how Mahaprabhu was connected, and what he added more. At first, chariot festival was. Jagannath Baladev Subhadra Baya, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and gave life in chariot festival. Anyone prior to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they have no idea of this festival. Only it was done by 
some servants of king and service and king doing it. But after this, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, oh, this becomes so favorable and so widespread that from whole world, now more than 20 lakhs, more than 25 lakhs, the boat is coming. And they all take part in this God's festival. There was king named Indra Dhunna. When this world was first created in Satyaju, very, very ancient. There are two parts whole time. First is called Purvardha and Parartha. The first Brahman who created this under the guidance of Krishna. At that time in India, where Krishna took his study at the Ashram of Samdipnimani, this was called Malo Desh. And in that country, there was a king named Indra Dhumna. Very powerful, very powerful. He used to rule the whole world. So, he was a very pure devotee. He wanted to take at once a darshan of Supreme Personality of Godhead. And thus, he was so much for baffled. Unsteady. Restless. That when I will have passion, when I will. Krishna saw his heart and at once he sent a devotee to him. And that devotee came and he began to tell that I am traveling whole world everywhere. And once I saw a very high class of very, very beautiful and merciful deity. If anyone takes the name of Neel Madhav, he at once is liberated from this world. From birth and death, sorrow and suffering of this life. He must be liberated. But where he is, he could not tell and he at once went away. Now King was very much pleased. He wanted to take the darshan of Neel Madhav. You know Neel Madhav? The color of the body of Krishna is Neel. Like blue. Like a scar. More than that. We cannot define in this word. No word in this. He is not black. He is so beautiful. So beautiful. So, <coughs> He wanted to search where is Neel Madhav. He sent his so prominent persons in four directions and told that you should go. He gave his chariots to them and you should discover where is Neel Madhav. I want to take darshan and I want to bring Neel Madhav in my state. The wind. And after six months, Three were returned without anything. They could not discover. But who went in the east? The name was Vidyapati, the priest of that king. He went on the side of ocean, Indian ocean. And there he was discovering. He was so worried to discover Neel Madhav. One day it was evening and he was tired. He wanted to host anywhere. So he went in a village and he asked that I want to take shelter anywhere in night and in morning I will go away. They told that uh, if Prominent person in that village. 
is very poor and very religious, very humble. You can go to him. And he went there. But luckily, the master of the house was absent. Only a daughter of sixteen age, very beautiful, was there. He went and told the name of that person that I want to be in night here. Where is that person? She told that, oh, he is my father. He has to take rest here. My father is somehow out. He will come and he will host you. So he was waiting. In the meantime, that householder came. And he became very happy to see this Brahmin, very beautiful young person. Oh, he told his daughter that quickly arrange his prasadam for his meal. And also give a room to rest here, he will be as much as he likes to be here. So he was there and that girl was appointed to serve him. The girl was so expert in serving. She very gently and very sweetly he arranged everything. And thus there was some friendship within them. And he received so much honor there that he was there for several days. But he was thinking, here some some sutra. Huh? Indication can be received here. So I must be here for some day. It seems that the householder is worshipper anyhow of Neil Madhav. Because some saints were coming from his body. Very beautiful son. In uh, midday he used to go and he used to come in next day in morning. But when he used to come, very good saint used to come from his body. In the meantime, the love between that priest Vidyapati and that girl Lalita, his name was Lalita, oh, improved so much. That householder uh, asked her girl, do you want to marry with this young very beautiful boy. Oh, I want. And that quickly marriage was done. Then they became husband and wife. One day, Vidyapati asked his wife, Lalite, can you tell me where your father goes in the night and where he spends night and comes in midday? Oh, I cannot tell. My father has Want me not to tell and to disclose this thing. But you are my husband. I want to open my heart to you. He goes to serve Neil Madhav Then he becomes very happy. Very, very happy. Oh, for one year I am traveling here and there. Now I have find some clue that Neil Madhav is very, very, very near us. And if anyone goes there, he must be liberated. Now, as some clue, he requested her, his wife, Oh, please, Lalite, you know that has husband and wife, one soul, two body. You should help me how I can go and see Neil Madhav. I want to see. You should help me. She promised that I will help you. So much help. One day when his father came, he went to his father and sat in the lap of his father. Father, father, father. Like this. I want something from you. You are my lovely father. Please, please give me a boon. What? My life is for you. You are my darling daughter. I must give you. Then she thought, my husband wants to take darshan of that Neil Madhav. Oh, have you told? Oh, he is my husband. How should I keep sacred? 
So, I have told, but he wants to take darshan. Oh, I don't want to show anyone that Neil Madhav, very secret, very secret. Then she told that if you are not allowing him and not taking him to give darshan of Thakuji, then I will take poison, I will give my darshan. This is the uh, uh, big victim of ladies. <laughs> <laughs> that I will die. Like Kaikai did it, Bhama Samsan doing like this. So this is big weapon. So they see, took this weapon and attacked to his father. And father at once became melted. No, no, you should not die. I will take him and I will help him that he will take darshan. But one, one thing, one condition, and that condition is what? I will give a black cloth on his eyes. And then I will take him. And then when we will go there, I will take off that black patti. Patti means? Blank hole. Blank hole. And then he can see, and then I will take him here. And again I will put the blank, blank hole. So he can see. But in this way. Otherwise he will know the way and all will go there. So I don't want. Husband was agreed with the apathy. Oh. But his wife was so intelligent. He gave him so seeds of yellow mustard seed. Have you seen? Very, very like this color. Yellow flowers. He took it in his pocket. And when black patti was given there, cloth, and he was going, he was giving one, 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 one. All way he put some, some. And it was the rainy season. After some time he went there, on a hill. And there the temple was of Neil Madhav. He took up and he opened his eyes. And he saw, he went in the temple and saw. Very beautiful Nil Madhav, four handed, like Krishna. Very beautiful. He became very happy. Then the, his father, father in law, told him, I am going to pick up flowers and some formalia, for formalia of worshipping Thakuji. So you should be here, I am coming very soon. And telling he and went in the forest to bring all this. In the meantime, this Vidyapati saw there was a pond nearby temple. Very water was very clear and very fragrant. There was a mango tree there. The, the branches of this tree were in on the water pond and a black crow was sleeping on that. Understand? Black crow was sleeping there. <coughs> and but at once he slept so much that he fell in the pond. <laughs> and but I at once died. But very wonderful thing was that he became four-handed person. Very beautiful. Like Sankhchakra Gada Padma. Like Narayan. And he quickly a Garud came and he sat up on that guru and quickly went to Baikunt. Then he saw that I should not waste a time, a moment time. I should go there on the tree and I should jump in the, in the pond and I will die and then I will become. My soul will be very pure and four-handed and I will at once go to Baikunt. So he was quickly Climbing on the tree, in the meantime, Nilmadha told him, Don't do so. 
You will have to do so many things, important things. I want that you should serve me. Don't give this life. After life you will go to there. No harm. So you should go first to Indra Dhumna Maharaj in Malo country and tell him this important news that I have such Nil Madhav is here and bring him. I want to take his service. Then he become very happy. Eh? And then he returned to the temple. In the meantime, that priest came. Vishwabhasu. Eh? He came and then he watched Nil Madhav. And he was watching, looking everything. In the meantime, Nil Madhav Thakur told that Vishwabhasu, that O oh, Vishwabhasu, you are serving me from so many long times. But now, a very wealthy king, he wants to serve me. He is my devotee. Your devotee. Now I, I want to take his service with in wealthy mood, with affluent, royal, royal worship. I want to take. Don't be worried. And you will be famous in the whole world, so don't worry. But that priest becomes so worried. He told that, oh, when Thakur will come and worship Nil Madhav, then I will be deprived of the service. So he captured that Vidyapati, his son-in-law, and put him in jail in his house. But that girl was so attached to his husband that he told that, Oh, father, I want that you should give me poison and I should die. Without my husband, I cannot leave. And in the meantime, order from Nil Madhav came that at once he should quit this king, uh, this Vidyapati. Don't uh, prison. And at once he left. And then he told to his wife, I am coming very soon. Don't worry. I must come. And then giving him consolation, he went to return to his, that king in the Dimna. And after so many days, he went there and met the king and told, Oh, I have discovered Nil Madhav is on the ocean of, in the east side of Indian ocean, he is there in a mountain. So, you can go and take, take Darshan. Then, he told his all army and his all relatives, wife, sons and all commander also, that be ready. Tomorrow we will go to Nil Madhav. And this Vidyapati will guide us. And I will bring that Nil Madhav. And by that, serving him, we will all go to Baikun forever. Then he quickly arranged everything and he went there. After one march, one month, walking, walking, walking there, there is there. But in the meantime, the sands of the sea covered that village also and that mountain also and the Nil Madhav also. Only sand and sand everywhere. Oh, like a mountain, sand was there. He went there, but saw that, oh, Nil, no Nil Madhav. Then he became so bright. He returned back to sea and he told to pray to Nil Madhav. Oh, Nil Madhav, if you are not giving darshan that I am giving up my food and drink and everything. And he took a asan, kushasan. You know kushasan? Very pure. And at that he sat there and he wanted to die. That if you are not giving darshan, then I must die. Then Nil Madhav told him in a sky words. Sky words? Voice from the sky. 
is called king. And told, oh, don't, you should die. After some days, you should wait. And after some days, I will come like a trunk, very big trunk of tree. And it will be ready. And there may be some sample of Sankh Chakra Gada Padma. And you should take me out of water and three Vigra, four Vigra will come. Jagannath, Bande, Bhadra and Chakra. So you should wait, don't die. In the meantime, you can make a build, very big temple for me. <clears throat> then he made a very big temple and waiting for that trunk. You know Chakratirtha Bankim Muhana in Puri. There is a place from where Osa has taken turn. There he saw that very big trunk of tree, reddish in color. And there were some symbol of marks of Sankha Chakra Gada Padma. Then he knew that this is that Vigraha. So he requested that you should come in my chariot. And he told his all soldiers and he took his all elephants that they should take out from water and they give in chariot. But it was so heavy that they could not do anything. Then again some aerial sound came that bring your old that Vishwa, uh, Basu, Sabar, and also your Vidyapati. And they will touch me and pray me, and then I can come in jail. So he did so. He called that old servant of Nil Madhav, and also to Vidyapati, his. And then they went in the sea and they prayed. And king also began to pray. All they are doing? Kirtan. What Kirtan? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Oh, when he was doing Kirtan, all were praying, and that old his servant Vishwabasu and new Vidyapati, when they touched and they, he, it came very easily and climbed on the chariot, golden chariot. And then it, it was correct to, oh, where now is temple nearby? And there was made a very big hall and it was kept there. The Thapu gave a dream that you should call all your carpenters and they will make me four big grahas, like Jagannath, Baldev and Subhadra. He called, invited all the carpenters of his kingdom. All came and he ordered them, the king, that you should make four big grahas of Jagannath, Baldev, Subhadra, very decent and very beautiful. Like Krishna Baldev Subhadra, like this. They tried, but when they used to take that their weapons to touch in that trunk, or oh, they used to break. Eh, break. So no one was eh? yeah. so They could not do it. Then a very old person, Brahmin, he came. Though he was old, but he was very pitiful and very great. He told that my name is Maharana and Brahmin. I can make these three deities, four deities. 
then king became very happy. But he told that I want that every one should go out of this this room hall, and I will be alone. And the door should be opened after only twenty one days. In twenty days, twenty one days, I may complete. And then I will knock the door, and then you should open. But in the meantime, you should not open. This is my condition. King accepted. All went out out of the room, and this, that was locked. And only that old Maharana, that carpenter, Brahmin compound, that was here. And he took his all weapons and instruments. After fourteen days. King was became very worried. All doors are closed, but no sound coming from inside, and we had not kept anything to take him to to feed him. No water, nothing. I think that in fourteen days he has died. That is why no sound is coming from inside. So what to do? But the uh, uh, the mantri, minister, very intelligent. He told that you should not weep. You should wait till twenty one days. In any case, you should not open. But the queen told very soft hearted. She told that oh. If he will die, then it will be very shame. So we must open the door anyhow, and to give water or feed to feed him. So, by the advice of King, who opened the door, he saw that ma- there was no Maharana, not that Brahmin. Only three deities were there: Jagannath, Baldev, and Subhadra. But not completed. Their hands were not completed. The fingers were not done, and the feet, and the fingers, and mouth, actually very beautiful, were not done. Then he began to weep. Then again that minister came, and he told, "Do you know who was that Marana? He was himself Neel Madhav or Jagannath, himself Krishna." Why it was not completed? Then King was became become very worried, and he wanted to suicide himself that I have done so much mistake, I have done often. Then how to do? Then again aerial sound came. Don't worry. Don't. I wanted to come in this shape. This shape has some prominent reason, and I wanted to manifest. Like they say, so don't worry. You should est- you should establish me in temple, and you should do what you should begin. So the, in this very day today is was kept in in temple, both three. Then they were not told. I want to give you some bones that you have. Made me to manifest. First is that only the descendants of that Vishwabasu who was serving Neel Madhav, they will be called Sabha, and they will uh, worship for ten days in this day. Only anyone cannot touch me. Only these. And the descendants of the first wife of Vidyapati, Brahmini, they will worship me with their descendants for always, whole year. And the descendants of from the wife of his Lalita, that Sabari, they will. Cook for me. 
in the, by their descendant. Always they will go. And he told that uh, I want that you should ask any boon for me, from me. He told that you have given me everything. You should accept our services. But one thing I want that I should have no ch child or son or daughter. Without this I should be. No son, no daughter. Then Jagannath smiled and told, why you want like this? I know that when my child will be bigger, they will think that, oh, this is my property. And what pranami will come, they will take in their pockets and they will go to hell. And I must go to hell. So I don't want. You should make anyone who will worship you and he will control everything. But not like a control and malik. Proprietor. You will be the proprietor of whole estate. Of thousand and thousand and millions of bigas of land. Acres of land. And whole property is yours. You are Jagannath. You are the emperor of whole world. So I want that I have... I should have no son or daughter. That they will tell that, oh, this is my property. That is, oh, then Jagannath began to smile. Oh, let it be. Chan. This is one story in Quran. But why he told that I wanted to manifest myself in this way, not full, complete part. Why? So there is also a story in Puran and Sanatana Goswami has taken in his Oh, this is very interesting. And third is also, but I will tell only one today and next tomorrow that Gaur Gobind Maharaj has also written in his book. So first I am telling what it has been written by Sanatana Goswami and devotees like Rupa Goswami and others have invented this. So Sanatana Goswami has told that. You know that Krishna took birth in Gokul. He also took birth in Mathura but partly. And fully, he was the son of Jasoda and Nanda Baba. And he came not like a son in Mathura. 400 is like 16 golden ornaments, golden crown, and very good cloth, Everything and hair coming uh, like so pretty, very pretty. So he was not coming here in baby form, but in Gokul in Jasoda he came from her home with a daughter also. So he is son of Nandan Jasoda. He is not like adopted son. Sometimes it has been written for only Mathurabhasi. Those who Mathura Bhati, they should know that he is son of Vasudhar Devi. But actually, the devotees of Vrindavan, Braja, they never accept this. They saw that Krishna is coming from the home of Yasoda. How they can hmm, trust, believe that he, was, he has taken birth in Mathura. In Mathura, there was no ceremony. But here, Nandar. Okay, so many cows, less and less, thousands of cows to Brahmins, he donated. He donated his whole wealth, but again it was fulfilled. He kept nothing in his house. Everything he donated, but again full. So there was so a good Utsav, Mahotsav there. Then he was brought up in Gokul, and after some time 
Jasoda binded him in grinding motor with love and affection. And so many persons, sweet persons were there. When he began to grow more, then he took cows and he began to go to cow herding with his friends, with playing flute so sweet. After some time, he killed Agasur, Bakasur, Pirnavarta and all demons. And he went to Mathura. He made Rash in Vrindavan. Hmm? You know that Pansivar, Keshi Ghat Pansivar. And after, Apur came and told that, Oh, comes one to kill your father and mother. Vasudev and Devi. Krishna told that my father is Nanda Baba and Jasoda mother, but anyhow they are friend of my father and mother. I should go and say. So he quickly went with a crow and he killed the Kans and he made Ugrasen their king. And after some time he went to Dvarka. He went to Dvarka. Once Nara went to Dwarka. Who is Narad? High class of devotee. Very high class. All this glorifying or oh, associates of Krishna and devotees of Krishna and the worship of deity of these devotees. That is that Krishna. His manifestation. Always glorifying. Especially the devotees. So once he went to Dwarka and went to Rukmini and he saw that there were some Mahotra there, festival. All the queens, 6,108 were there. And all other Dwarka Vashi were there also. Nark went to Rukmini and Satvana and there, in their council he said, Oh, you are very favorable. You are very fortunate to serve Krishna. You are the best person, servant of Krishna. You are queen of Krishna. You, Satabhama and all. So, you are glorious in this whole world. I want to pay to respect to you. At that time, Rukmini became sad and Satvabhama became sad. Oh, you are glorifying us, but we know that Krishna, since he married us, we cannot make him happy. We cannot control. We are so many and so beautiful, all qualified in all arts. But we cannot satisfy Krishna. In the night when he sleeps in my room, on my bed, only he cries and cries, weeping and weeping. Sometimes in dream he tells, taking my bell and pulling it and weeps, Oh Radhike, oh Radhike, where you are? I will die without you. Oh Lalite, where you are? Oh Vishake, where you are? We think so. Sometimes he is calling his mother, Ma Jasode, where you are? Where? I want to take makhan and roti. Like Butter this. Butter and chapati. I want to go in your lap. I want to take your best milk. Where you are? And we think. Sometimes calling his cows. And his friends, oh Siddham, Subal, Madhumangal, Subal, Kokil, Bringa, where you are. And sometimes ca- calling cows, Shamli, Dhauri, Kalindi, Gange, Pishange, where you are, where you are. And, and he poses like, but no one sees, he used to pose like this. Whole night weeping and weeping, whole bed was wetted with his tears. So, not only to this night, always like this, he never thinks, sees us, where we are, who are you, 
Only we are there. So we are very sad. We are not high class of any devotee. If you are devotee, then why not calling us Rukmani, Sattabhama, but not Sattabhama Tau? Oh, Sati, you are telling the truth. This night, this, this last night, he was waiting so much. And he took my bell and calling me, Oh, Radhe, Oh, Radhe, Oh, Radhe. And he we are bitterly, and he became senseless. I could not think that what should I do. So what is the history behind this? That Krishna never looks upon us, though we are married to him. And we are so beautiful, sweet, hmm? expert in all arts, but we cannot please Krishna. We want to know how we can please Krishna. In the meantime, Mother Rohini, the mother of Baldev Prabhu, who was so many years in Vrindavan with Jasoda, eh? and always nursing, supporting Krishna and Baldev both, at once he came. All did pranam to him and told mother and gave a very good seat for her. And that seat was given to him, her. And when she said, then all the queens weeping, they came to Rohini mother and told, Oh, mother, we know that you were in Braja when Krish and Baldev were very little baby. And from then you were there for eleven years. You know all the history of all the gopis. You know the love and affection of the gopis and mother and all Brajibasi. We want to know the, what is the importance there. How they love Krishna, that is still Krishna could not uh, forget them. And for many years, for fifth, more than fifty years, we are here serving Krishna. But Krishna is not controlled by us. He never calls, O oh, Rukmini, O oh, Saptabhama, always calling Gopis, Radhe, Radhe, Lalite, Vishal. What is the fact? What is behind in this? Then Rohanima began to tell him, Oh, you should listen. Gopis, never Gopis, any of Gopis, never wanted anything gained from Krishna. They always want to serve him without any self-gain. They know only that Krishna is their son, their beloved, their friends. Now, you know that he is, sometimes, you know that Krishna is himself supreme personality of Godhead. You can see his four hands, but in present never. Like he ignorant, having always float, Playing on four clothes, which cock, okay? peacocks, he used to dance with his floats. So, gopis, all gopis, like his beloved, Krishna is gopi janaballava. What means? Krishna is beloved of all the gopis. Dwarka, in Dwarka, Rukmani, Shaktabhama are Wife of Krishna, but not beloved. Do you know why? Rukmini Mata told that your love and affection is divided in so many fragments. You have your husband, Krishna, and you are also so many sons, ten sons each, and one daughter. So, Husband one and these eleven become twelve. Your whole love and affection has been divided into twelve parts. But in for gopis, not divided. They have given up their husband. No children, nothing. They don't look after their houses. They have no any animals, anything to look after. So they are Love and affection for Krishna is totally full, like Akhanda, undivided. But your love and affection is divided. You know, he is a beloved and beloved. 
then any lady he can give his whole time for his beloved for his husband her husband but if a one child will come then his love and access this affection will be divided he will give much more time to this baby than his husband so it will be divided so if any lady has 10 and 11 children oh her love and affection will be divided in this kali yug you know they don't like god but they want what dog same same letters but reverse so if you have dog then your also this love will come to this dog also and if you have three four dogs then all will be divided so rukmini mother is telling that love is undivided to krishna if there are husband but actually they have give up their husband no children were always part if they are doing any job in their houses if they are promising then what they are doing all the krishna in their mind and heart they are promising like this and telling gobinda damo karma gobinda damo when they are cooking they are cooking and doing gobinda na ho gobinda na ho if anyone is uh, looking after the son of their elder and they want that they, he should sleep like this baby Oh, petting, petting. What they are doing? Govinda Dham, Dharma Dhameti. Govinda Dham, Dharma Dhameti. Not telling that you should sleep, you should sleep. Oh, Govinda Dham, Dharma Dhameti. Govinda Dham, Dharma Dhameti. Oh, if it, they are cleaning anything. Hmm? Pot cleaning, cleaning the corns, weeds, rice, like in what? Now it is not seen, but in India even it is used like soup, hmm? separating. separating them. And they are doing Govinda Ramo Ramadhe Ki Govinda Ramo Ramadhe. in all houses there were some shoe kansari parrots and they are teaching them in very morning at 4 oh you to be speak like me govinda ram 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 govinda ram 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 if are calling in their vocal mortar friendly mortar oh you cannot uh, Uh, take like this. Oh, very heavy, like five kilos more than six, ten kilos. Very big thing, and they used to do. Go win the Ramo, the Ramo baby. Go win the Ramo, the Ramo baby. Their mind and heart always in Krishna, and Krishna used to be like it. He said, "This their heart and mind is like chariot," and Krishna always. sitting on that otherwise krishna mind and heart is like a chariot and gopis krishna always thinking eh? go like gopis radhe 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 
ये जथान माम प्रपदंते ताम से थैल सो कृष्ण इज बाउंड टू बी टू फॉलो हिज प्रॉमिस पर दैट एनी वन who will remember krishna chant krishna he will go there so he is very lovely to their prajavasi bhakt but he cannot give up the devotees of mathura and dwarka and other parts of india or whole world anyone chant he will go there so krishna cannot repay them so krishna is always remembering them but He is feeling so much separation. Always feeling separation. He was telling this thing, oh, from beginning to Ras, how Krishna he used to to wash wash the mouth of Gopi when they be were becoming very tired in the Ras, dancing and singing, and they can sing more sweet than Krishna himself. Krishna can do like this. Sare Gama Pa and Gopis more than this, and Krishna will be stopped there, and they will go Sare Gama Pa Dhani Sa, and Krishna becomes very happy. Oh, Sadhu Sadhu Sadhu, what means Sadhu? Very good. I cannot do like this. So he used to pray them, pray them always. Huh? So. Sir Krishna with Balde was sitting in the council of Ugrasen in his Sudharma Sabha assembly hall. But they were Maruhani from beginning, and she was going on, going on. Krishna became upset because anywhere any devotee sings his name and glory, he must go there. So he was in upset. Though he was sitting in the council, but he was very upset. So quickly he left that council, and he was coming to the place where Rani Madhur was telling all these brahm glory to Rani and uh, Rukmini and Sarada. But they also left that council, and he came followed Krishna. When they came at the door of that. Rukmini house, in where inside all they are talking about Krishna and Braj glory was going. Oh, Subhadra was God there, and she was hearing all these past times of Braj, and she was absorbed in that. It did like so. Oh, brother, you cannot go in there. In there, inside, mother. Rani is telling something to all the kings, and mother has ordered me that you can in, cannot enter inside. When the talking will be finished, the discussion will be finished, then you can enter. So Krishna and Balde were also there, and three were hearing what was going on inside. I am hearing, and when most things come. When Simati Raj, Radhika affection to Krishna, once she was Rani Madhu are telling that once Simati Radhika was in the lap of Krishna, and Madhu Bandhan came, and at that time, not Madhu, that some bees were coming, and they thinking that the feet of just uh, Radhika is like lotus, very fragrant, very sweet and tasteful. So they wanted to go inside the in the feet, thinking that lo it is lotus, and they were coming always there. So Radhika was frightened. In the meantime, she was doing so, but even that, she was always 
coming there. In the meantime, Madhmangal came and saw, and he took his stick, and he anyhow drive out that very far away. And when he returned, told that Madhmanga, Madhu Sudan has gone, I have tracked him, and he cannot come back. Cannot, come, cannot come back. And Srimati Radhika heard this. And she was sitting in the lap of Krishna. And Krishna was doing like that, crossing. He was crossing Radhika. But, oh, she forget that I am there. In the lap of Krishna. She began to wait. Oh, Matsudan, where you have come? When you will come? Otherwise I will die. And thus telling, she became senseless in the separation mode. Then what became? Krishna was thinking, what to do? How to pacify? He could not pacify. So, he was telling all so many things. So many things. And Krishna and Baldev and Subhadra were hearing all this. Hearing, 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 hearing. Krishna became so attached, so observed, that he heard began to melt. And by hearing this, love and affection came in so high way that his fingers melted in love and affection like water. This also. Up to this. Up to this. Up to this. It was all melted. And at that time, when he was melting, also his mouth beautiful was melting. Then, at once, Rohanima stopped him. He became faint. She became faint. He, she could not describe more. She could not tell anything more. And she became faint. And then that talk was stopped. Then gradually Krishna began to uh, he came, began to come to his senses. And again gradually all his four organs were coming. And he was in full organ, and he restored his everything. Then he entered in inside, and he saw that Mother Rohini was senseless. Anyhow, he again he made him senseless, and he saw that Narod was like guilty there. He was he was looking everything outside, inside, and he thought that I am guilty. I have done all these things. I told to Rukmini, uh, Rohini, uh, Rukmini and Sattvamama, and they, then they called mother and mother. Right? So I am guilty. So he was doing like this. Krishna told that, oh, you have made all these things. You are the root cause of all these things. I am very happy. Very happy. You remembered me all, Braj, and I heard all these things. So I want to give you some boon. So you should pray any boon. Then Narada. Again, he told that, oh, if you, are, if you want to give me any bone, I want to take that thing. That when you are hearing the Prajik Katha, the past times of Praja, and you became totally, what? Melted. And your hands like up to this, and feet like from here, everything was melted. And you are observed in love and affection at that time. I want that this, your duty of three should be manifested in this world. And it should be worshipped in any in world. And whole world will see you and they should know these histories. And they will have love and affection for you. Then he told me, yes, Tathas too, it will be. And then he told that, oh, my these deities, we are always in Nilasha. And that is why he laughed when we were talking with Indradim. That I will manifest my deeds for three deities and Chakra Sudarshan there. Why Sudarshan? If Sudarshan is not giving you eyes, Sudarshan, if Sudarshan is not helping to purify you and giving that transcendental Reason. You cannot see Jagannath Bhagavad You will see that he is wood. He is made of wood. 
and not very beautiful. And if Sudarshan will give you this light, this vision, then you can say, oh, he is Bhajandhanandan Shamsundar. So this is one of the reasons that he manifested in this way. This is very lovely, lovely Thakur Jagannath Baldev Shabbat. You are lucky to hear all these things. Gaur Pramana.